we are here with Carmelo Arden Quinn's uh, 1951 work entitled Squares. Carmelo was uh, born in Uruguay and he worked in Uruguay, Argentina, and France. So mostly South America also ventured to France, which is fun. The work here is really interesting because it um, this is the, one of the first times um, artists paint uh, artists had started playing with canvases and shapes other than the rectangle. Um, up until this point, it had always been, what can you put on the rectangle? And he said, why a rectangle? Um, a quote from him is, by abandoning the square and the rectangle as the basis for consumption, um, we have increased the possibilities for invention of all kinds. Um, I think it's a great way to look at uh, a lot of the mindset of, well, some of the mindset um, in this point in society, technologically, we were getting this um, super, super advanced. This is whenever uh, the beginning of a lot of the space races, people were trying to go to the moon, computers were being invented. Um, socially, eh, not so much, you know, racism, that's, that was still happening, but I mean, it's still happening today, but it was like happening, happening. Um, like segregation happening. Anyway, uh, yeah, he also experimented with the surface of his materials. Um, this one in specific is a uh, lacquer on a on an enamel coated wood called plastic blanc, which is French for white plastic. Um, I think white plastic. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna laugh at myself. Yeah, white plastic, plastic. Anyway, uh, what I think is cool about this work is that inside of his irregular shaped um, frame, he has squares and circles and the rectangles and like the typically used shapes in art. Um, and it kind of reminds me like when someone has a map, an old map and you zoom in on one point in the map, that's great. We're gonna pick up where we left off because I ran out of storage and had to go clear some things, but we're good. Um, right here. It's like looking at a map. And when you zoom in on the map, or like when that's all that you've discovered, that's all you can see, that's all you think there is. But once you bring it to the bigger picture, once you see the full globe, the full scale, and this might not even be it, but once you expand, you see that there's so much more. There's so much more potential. That's what it reminded me of. Um, 